to prove after a, 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 with a length, after a lengthy sabbatical out the ring. Well, say lengthy battle, let would be eight, out the ring for eight months. So, yeah, and uh, well, being out the ring for eight months, you don't know how long he's been in the gym. It can have a big impact on your sharpness. But he, st he started the round well. I think Louis had a lot of fights for been a, been a relatively young lad. Uh, as, as we were talking about earlier, you know, he's been in with some of the, you know, the best in the lighter weights. Unfortunately, uh, come up short, but, you know, there's no disgrace with likes of Charlie Edwards, Andrew Selby. I mean, 99% uh, of boxers had come up short against them guys. Yeah, and I mean, they, they've moved on to world level now. They're at a higher level, so it should open up a gap for someone like Lewis to to step up and be able to uh, to fill that void for yeah. the domestic scene. But I mean, for, for a comeback fight, I mean, this is tough. I mean, Bjorklund's head is just like, it's like a rock. I mean, uh, in his, uh, in Louis' uh, corner, his uh, second, Chris Slatcher. Chris Slatcher uh, trains Brad Dawes. Brad Dawes about broke his hand on uh, Bjorklund's head and hurt his right, head in, right hand on it as well. So it, it's a tough test. He's, he's, doing, he's going to the body a lot, so he must know about that hard head. Yes. He's doing the right thing against the south boys while he's moving to his left. He's trying to get his foot on the outside and he's, he's leading with the right hand at times. And just um, notice he's trying to get, trying to get underneath, trying to get underneath uh, the defence of uh, Bjorklund. I think he, Norman knows here that he's, uh, he's got a distance fight, a fight ahead of him, so he's not loading up too much and he's just picking his shots. I mean, uh, I, was, I was sort of speaking to Louis, but this is a sort of a conversation. I sort of, out, I was in, in the com not in the conversation, but sort of as part of the group. And he was sort of saying, you know, he's not had a four rounder for a long, long time. And he said, normally it takes him four rounds to get going. Uh, but, you know, you know, he's not a, you know, he's not a big puncher. Only two stoppages from 13 wins. Um, but uh, he obviously just said, you know, uh, if he can get a good, uh, you know, get put in a good performance tonight, it, it will definitely open a few doors for him. Yeah, and uh, you see it time and time again with people. They, they fight 12 rounders, 10 rounders, and then they drop back down to four and they can struggle because they, their body's adapted to the longer rounds, um, which is why a lot of the people who've just turned over from being amateur do well in formats like Ultimate Boxer and Prize Fighter and things like that. Yes. And the, the more higher level fighters tend to struggle. Yeah. So uh, it is a challenge in itself for Norman to be stepping back down to four rounders here. But uh, it's, it, I tell you what, he's, he's moving about well. You wouldn't think he'd had an eight month layoff, judging by, you know, by how he's con sort of, he's controlling the center of the ring. Neat. I mean, uh, how, did you, how did you see that round, uh, I think Colin? it was uh, comfortably Norman's uh, round. 10-9, he, he boxed nicely, moved to his left. What about yourself? Yeah, no, 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 definitely. You were com comfortably in control. Perhaps not to the extent of the dominance we saw from Tom Cowling earlier. But uh, it's all in, his, in, the, in, the, in his corner, we see his dad, Sean Norman. Sean, uh, when he was a younger man, actually uh, fought uh, Prince Nassim Hamed. Did he? In, uh, I think, Hamid's third or fourth fight the stoppage is there on YouTube uh, for all to see it's a little bit of trivia uh, wouldn't be, wouldn't like to be at the end of Prince's punches that's for sure no definitely not I mean uh, Sean Sean Sean, um, Sean, 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 Sean wasn't, a journey, wasn't a journeyman by any stretch of the imagination but was, you know didn't win a British title or anything but went in with half a dozen lads that went on to either be world champion or so you know he knows a lot about the game A nice right hand. Falkland's got a tight defence and he's, he seems to want to work the body a bit this round. Yeah. And I suppose there is always that worry uh, about how hard that head is. Yeah, of course. You've seen it many times with these journeymen on their hard heads. Was it Ernie Smith? Um, about four or five people broke their hands just from hitting him in the head. If not more. Yes. Oh, so good right hand there. Borkland switched to being orthodox at the moment, so 
I don't know whether that's tactical or whether it's uh, part of his game plan. Yeah, I think switch. I think he definitely. I mean, when I saw it, he was uh, out of all the lads in the, that, are, that are in the uh, opposite corner to uh, the, the home lads tonight. He's the more, definitely the more friendlier towards uh, Louis. Whether it, that was some sort of mind game, so I'm not saying he wasn't been. He wasn't been. There was there's something behind. There seems to be something behind it. So. Whether he thinks they'll go easy on him, uh, so he's definitely one that uh, probably uh, wants to be out uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah. It, he's, he's still uh, he's still throwing the odd shot at Europe there where you think he's he's having a go. There's a nice movement from Norman. He's uh, slipping his head, pressurising whilst being elusive. Yes. Oh, that was a no nice right up there from Norman. Brilliant right hand, and he moved off to his left. He's doing all the right stuff here. Yeah, I mean you can definitely tell when when you're looking at sort of the facial expressions that Norman's uh, pulling. He's definitely got something to prove because I saw. Well, again, I saw. I spoke to him, uh, him, him and his brother Ben on uh, Monday night at their gym in, at their dad's gym in Shepshed. He wants to get back into. Well, he still he says I still think I'm going to become a world champion, but you know. He's fought for the British, he's fought for the English, he's been the English champion, he's been the Midland area champion, you know, he wants those fights, he doesn't want to be fighting four rounders, but he knows, you know, he knows he's got to start somewhere. Yeah, and he's got that belief, and uh, in the division he's in, you can, you can move up the levels very, very quickly, so a few wins under his belt, and who knows, he could be there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I actually went as a fan to watch him fight uh, Charlie Edwards uh, in 2015. And that was the Louis was Louis fight with Charlie was the mate that was the main support to uh, Anthony Joshua versus Gary Cornish. Which, which arena was that? At? The O2. Wow, oh, that's a great experience. Is a lot of fighters dream of fighting there. Norman's already done it, and he's and he's not he's not his ego is not too big where he's not willing to step back down to venues like this. No, that's right. Uh, but how did you see that set the second round, uh, Carwin? I thought it was more of the same myself personally. More of the same. Uh, I saw some nice movement from Norman. He was throwing with right hand and moving off to his left quite nicely. Yeah, it looks like he knows he's not going to get the stoppage, but he's still trying to impress where he can. Yes. Yeah, there's some real venom in some of those punches. For somebody, if you look at his record, it would say two stoppages in 13 wins isn't, would indicate you're not a big puncher, but he's definitely, you know, there's some snap in there. He's obviously Ooh, some, build, some build, built up of frustration. Seconds out. Three. I mean, one thing that has been nice about this fight is that uh, Kevin Parker's almost been a spectator. Yeah, we've, 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 he's not had to separate him once, I don't think, where we saw that quite a lot in the last fight. So it's been very cleanly contested. Yes. No, no, oh. Nice uppercut there from left foot from Norman. Just content to be, you know, he's, he's jabbing away, you know, get, you know, doing his work nicely, comfortably. He's just doing what you'd, uh, what you talk about in the gym, forgetting that there's an audience there that you need to impress, just getting the win. Yes. I mean, uh, I mean, the, the, you know, the, 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 you know, they're a close family, you know, Sean, Sean's the coach, he's, he's not just a coach, he's, you know, he's their dad, he's their best mate, you know, they are a really close-knit family. In fact, uh, I can actually hear uh, Louis's uh, mum, uh, Joanne, who's, a, uh, who's, who's, who's got her own hairdresser, Barbara in business, sorry, in Shepshed. I can hear her shouting above over everybody else. Going through his uh, shot selection now, using his footwork, stepping around Auckland and uh, from nice shots, but he just ate a right hand there, so he just needs to be wary of that. Yes. Whereas Bjorken is being cautious, he is, he, is, he is getting the odd shot, and like I said, just uh, Louis's got to watch out for that. Yeah, as we as we know, one shot can change a fight, can't it? Yes. So regardless of what the form book says, you still always have to be switched on because anything can happen in there. No, that's right. Oh, nice and, work from Norman. And, and it looks like Norman is—he's he's not taking him lightly. 
he knows he's in there with a, with a good operator, so he's showing him the respect that he deserves. Yes. I mean, he's, he's, his dad will have drilled into him, you know, you, you, you've, you, you, don't matter, it doesn't matter how you perform, but, you know, you've got to get the win, like you said. Because of the size of the divisions that, he, that he's, he's fighting in, they, uh, they need to, you know, a couple of wins will get him something because on the back of where he has been as a pro. But, he's, you know... Uh, he's a name in the division. And uh, when you're a name in a division, the opportunities can always come. Fantastic right hand. He's just circling and then uh, looking for the shots. He's, de he's, def he's definitely throwing the harder punches to the body. Yeah. Because he's obviously wary of... Uh... It's uh, very active from Norman as well. So it may not be apparent to, to viewers, but he's moving a lot on his feet. So he's constantly moving so that Borkland doesn't get a chance to set himself at any moment. Yeah. Some nice little flurries. Yeah. Yeah. Get some nice little flurries in. Yeah. These hooks, what you're doing? Even if you try to throw a jab, right it. Let's get out. Yeah. Let's get out. Yeah. Know your business. Let's get out. Yeah. I want you to enjoy this last round. Yeah. I want you to show people what you're about now. Yeah. Like, come on, one round, baby. Yeah. One round, kid. Come on. You can do this now. Yeah. Let's finish. Finish your floor. Finish your middle. Yeah. 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 Yep. Two more body shots, going. The footwork's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We just let's just finish with something. Yeah. 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 Go on. Show them all now while you've won this dead easy. Yeah. Yeah? Come on, lad, now. Seconds out. For the fourth and final round. Okay, just, just coming into the final round. How, how have you seen it so far? It's easy. Louis easy three rounds to the court. Uh, probably not... Not... Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's easily won all three rounds. Different sort of fights, the cowling fight. But, you know, he's, he's moving well, moving about, you know, jabbing away. Bit, an accidental slip then, push, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I mean, some of the audience got excited there, but it just, uh, he was off balance. Norman started this round with a good sh shot selection and, he, and he's uh, putting a bit more into it. So he, uh, he's testing the waters to see whether he could chase a stoppage, I think. No, yes. I think... I, not only will, I mean, with the fact that Bjorklund's never been stopped, you know, this would just be, uh, you know, fanta be, be, fan be fantastic for Louis. Constantly having to adjust Norman because, because Borkland keeps switching from South Southport to Orthodox, which means you, you can't just get into a rhythm of going with one game plan. Yeah. Is that something you've experienced yourself as a, as a pro boxer, Carwin? Yeah, you can, if you're against the south boy, you'll be circling to the left, looking, for, setting up a shot, and then suddenly they'll switch, and that's thrown out everything that you were setting up. So I could see, I can, uh, I can empathise with the frustrations that uh, Norman could feel with that. Yes. Doing all that good work to set something up, and then just a switch of a feet, and uh, Borkland's just throwing it all out the window for him. Even if uh, Norman's sort of working on a more counter punching than. Uh, than he, than he has been previously. He's still comfortably in control of the fight, comfortably. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice uppercut there. 